Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to <clears throat> use an array to store a collection of data. Um, the below is an example of the simplest implementation of an array data structure. This is known as a one-dimensional array, meaning it only has one level, or that it does not have any other arrays nested within it. <clears throat> Notice it contains Boolean strings and numbers, along with other valid JavaScript data types. So we have an array, and inside of it is a string, a number, a string of three, a Boolean of true, a Boolean of false, and then some other undefined and null uh, data types. And when we console log the length of this, so a simple array, the length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so when we uh, console log simple array dot length, we get seven. Um, all arrays have a length property, which is shown above, and can easily be accessed with the syntax array dot length. So you put your array in here, and then you say dot length. A more complex Im implementation of an array can be seen below. This is also known as a multidimensional array or an array that contains other arrays. Notice th that this array also contains JavaScript objects, which we will examine very closely in our next section. But for now, all you need to know is that arrays are capable of storing complex objects. So here we have an array, and inside of the array, okay, so this is an array, and then inside of the array, we have two arrays. So if you were to call a um, complex array dot length, you're going to get two, right? Because there's this one, and then there's this one. Uh, we've defined a variable called your array over here. Complete the statement by assigning an, an array of at least five elements in in length of of um, of in length to the, to the your array variable. Your array should contain at least one string, one number, and one boolean. So let's console dot log your array. So we can see what we're working with here. So currently we have an empty one. Um, it says that we want the array to contain a string. So a uh, useful programmer. A, and we see our array now has um, the uh, useful programmer. Um, it, we want a number, 22, and a Boolean, false. And let's do true, let's stay positive. Okay, and so now we've got an array here. Um, but when we look down here, if we were to run the test now, they wouldn't all pass, right? Oh, it needs to be five elements long. Well, currently, um, if we go your array, if we go console.log, your array dot length, uh, we get three. And so this needs to be five. So we can just add some other elements in here. Maybe a string that says programming, and then um, another number. Uh, 33, 333. And now our array is, has a length of five because there's one, two, three, four, five elements in it. And we run the tests and that should pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next video.